it's Matthew. So I had plans today to just make a little video about lighting for your plants and the different kind of lighting fixtures available. But uh, when I came downstairs and I went to the DWC system and I opened it up and I seen something that had me very, very frightened. It was just the normal everyday routine. I came down to check on the plants, took the uh, reflective heat blanket out of the way, and what I seen was just something I thought I would never ever see, especially inside and especially around this time of year. But yes, I have to accept it now. I have bugs. <laughs> I do not like bugs. And the thing is, I was looking at these plants probably just over 12 hours ago and they looked nothing like that. There was no signs of bugs on those plants at all. It's the middle of winter. Where are these things even coming from? They're not coming from outside. It's way too cold for anything like that out there. So they have to be coming from inside. But where, I don't know. These plants were all grown inside in the basement. They didn't come from another plant. so. Just really strange to see that. So the quick look I did have at these bugs, it looks like they're aphids. And aphids will suck on the life force of the plant. They'll suck on the sap of the plant through the leaves. And uh, you can t usually tell it's aphids because you might have some discoloration in there. They're a lot like a mosquito, I guess you could say. Also, you can tell it's aphids because they actually shed their skin and they leave little white bits on your leaves. And I think that's called molting, I believe, and uh, it's just another way to tell that you've got aphids on your plants. From what I've read, these things are really quick to multiply, but also they're not too hard to get rid of as long as you stay on top of them. I'm really hoping these things don't spread over to my flood table, otherwise I'd be pretty upset. The DWC system isn't going too hot right now, so I'm not too worried about any losses we have in there or even spraying the plants. So I'm going to make sure we get these things good and dead. Oh yes, and I will be taking all necessary precautions. I'm not taking any chances with these guys. Let's do this! You know what, this is probably just a little unnecessary. So, uh, I'm just gonna take this stuff off actually. Okay, so maybe that stuff is a little bit unnecessary. Uh, you do have quite the option when it comes to treating your plants for pests. You have organic, you have natural soap base, you have powders, liquids. So I think it depends on what your preference is. If you're big on organic or natural, you might want to go that way. Or depending on what stage your plant growth is in, if you have fruit on there that you don't want to spray, uh, then maybe you want to use something else. For me, I just went to my garage and I found I have Actually, I found a powder and a liquid, and I think I just might try the liquid and spray it on there, see how it does. Oh, except it was in my garage, so it is frozen, so maybe I'll use the powder. 
It says it doesn't leave poisonous residue, but it is poisonous. And it says to cover both the top and the bottom of the leaves. So uh, I guess I'll try this stuff. We'll see what happens. Like I said, uh, I'm not too worried about these plants here. It's the ones behind me that I'm kind of concerned about. So I'll just go ahead and apply a light coat of this powder and kill some bugs. So I got the powder on the plants and under the leaves. I think the spray probably would have been a little better because it'd be easier to get under the leaves. But uh, I do have it done so we'll just wait and see what happens. And that's pretty much it. Uh, this week I'm probably going snowboarding in the mountains so won't have any more videos then. But when I get back uh, early next week, hope to have another one up. So stay tuned for that one. Thanks for watching.